Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Carlitos Tevez card to review today. We're taking a look at a card that is five foot seven, high low work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. So pretty good. I love the high low work rates to have up top in the striker position, even the cam position nowadays after that like third patch in the year. So pretty nice that he does have those work rates to work with. Uh, this card actually looks pretty nice from stats. What is his? Ooh, he has the outside foot shot trait and the finesse shot trait. Mmm. Very, very nice. What's your body type? Short and balanced as well? Jeez, okay, okay. This card looks kind of saucy. Uh, in regards to the chemistry style to give him, a lot of people are giving him the engine chemistry style, so that's what we're going to go with because, to be honest... Uh, his shooting stats for base card stats is set up really nicely, and, you know, increasing the agility, balance, and dribbling uh, wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing for this card, because he does also have the 91 reaction. So, uh, for the sake of the review, in regards to what people are choosing, we'll just give him an engine chemistry style for now, but love that he has both of the traits. In-game attributes, he's at 97 for acceleration, and 91 for spur and speed. Uh, base card stats for shooting is actually set up really nicely on this card to work with both of those meta-oriented traits, so 95, 98, 97, 95, 90 volleys at 99 composure, so his shooting should be very, very good, especially with those two traits. Uh, base card stats for passing, also very good. He does have 85 stamina, so because he has 85 stamina, you do want to keep him mostly in the middle positions. Uh, you can use them on the sides, but obviously if you tell them to come back in the fence, they'll drain stamina a little bit more. Usually you don't do that often with the players through the middle, so uh, it would be more ideal there. Although you could totally use them on the sides if you want to. It's just the stamina thing, right? Uh, passing definitely looks nice though. Uh, dribbling is really nice too because of the body type that he has. Very interesting to work with the short and balanced body type. Defending stats is at an 89 for heading accuracy, so helpful to have from time to time, but he doesn't jump doesn't jump that much at 61. So with that and the 5'7 height, I don't expect him to have like a crazy physical presence. Uh, he does have 99 strength and 96 aggression to work with the pace that he has as well, which is definitely going to be a very cool thing to work with. So with Giyu, he has a nice little cheeky Argentinian team here. We're going to be using the 4-1, 2-2, and two, bracket 2. Honestly... This formation is not perfect, but it's the only formation that I actually enjoy using in this game, especially when it comes to like testing out the players. And I love that he already puts him as a left striker because he knows I'm going to try all those finesse shots. This guy's hilarious. Um, yeah, so we're going to have both of these strikers on balance instructions. Cam is on balance. CDM is going to be on cut pass lane, stay back, we'll attack and cover center. All of that good stuff. So like I said, uh, you know, the 4-2-2 and two and two is a perfect formation to try them out because it is a narrow base formation. So... Definitely should be very nice. This Lanzini card is pretty cool, too. So, um, yeah, we'll get into a game. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully, he is a beast. I just want to see the movement there a little bit. See what's up. Push us to the top right there. We'll get a fake shot there. Nice little finesse. Cheese! Yo, his finesses. Those finesse shots, come, that comes off nice, man. That's great. Just testing out the close control dribbling a little bit right there with Carlitos. What was that? Free kick? Uh, Carlitos was just like completely out of there. He's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Free kick accuracy at an 83. Okay, he's going to go inside the net, so this would be a good opportunity to do this. Messi has a walk up, so maybe I'll time it correctly here. I do. Nice. Get him on his weak foot. Ooh, his... Hey, listen, man. It was coming off of a dribble a certain way, and he still hits that nicely. Center of gravity is great for this car because he has that certain body type and stuff. He has a body type. He has the heights to work with. Shot from there. Okay. Eh, try it from a poor angle, you know. Oh, Normally, I could probably just do, like, a ball roll finesse across, but just want to test out some things. Oh, nice run. Ball roll, touch, get the finesse there. Oh, good block right there. His finesse shots are coming off really nicely, though. I do like it so far. You can definitely tell that he has good ones. Oh, nice save by the goalkeeper, actually. Little glove save. No, shoot! <laughs> you know what's funny? Is like he did like a driven shot right there. I didn't expect that from the uh, amount of power that we put behind the shot, but 
not bad right there. So I will say that it's interesting, but I do notice a little bit of a sway to his dribbling, regardless of the short and balanced body type. I think the short and balanced body type might actually do that, because I remember checking out that Argentinian dude, because it's not a body type that exists on a lot of players. I checked out the Argentinian dude, the gameplay objective card, and he kind of did the same thing, but he was still pretty fun to use for what it was. Like with Carlitos, obviously he has like both of the meta traits, so obviously it's great to work with too. Yeah, so I just want to show you guys like the dribbling under pressure. Like you can definitely notice it with this card. Maybe a marksman could be a better choice for him. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, nice shot power there. That was actually solid. Okay, runs upwards, goes back into the middle there. I like to see the player's movement to kind of get familiar with the uh, attacking plays that I have to make to fully utilize the card. Yeah, see, that's the run right there. Do that. Adapt. Goes back into the middle quickly. Okay, cool, cool. Yep, good movement right there. Sees the empty space. Nice little goal. Um, With this card, guys, he is mostly giving me like good cam vibes because those high low work rates being aggressive in certain cases would definitely be very very helpful but um so far not too bad i do think i want to try out a different uh dribbling chemistry style on him for sure like a marksman maybe or maybe something else we'll see you always have to take into consideration the gameplay but obviously like when you use someone like messi and stuff like messi's dribbling is always really good neymar is really good all the time um even if the game plays bad, you could tell if they have good dribbling, right? Yeah, just want to test out some shot cancels there. See how fast he responds to us. So you can see that he's not like super rapid at them, right? So I think it's because of that body type, man, for sure. It's a weird one. Ah, those finesse shots come off nice. By the way, guys, I don't think the dribbling is like a complete nuisance, but for those of you that want like really responsive dribbling, I always let you know if a player dribbles like Messi or anything like that, right? Shot from there. Nice. That's a really good strike. That percentage is uh is kind it's kind of low, man. You can kind of see that he curves the ball like that, which was really cool. Hmm, I like his shooting, guys. His shooting is really nice, both with the finesse shot and the power strikes. The power strikes come off great too. The only reason why I like the engine chemistry style on him is because it does give him a pace boost. Like if you give him a marksman, you're not really utilizing those high-low work rates, right? So... Yeah, that was nice. Is that onside? It is onside. You know what? I kind of got lucky there because there was actually an animation thing where Tevez went body to body against the defender and it kept him on side. Uh, guys, I will say his shooting is incredible. I, I think that his finesse shots come off great, especially since he has the base card stats. Um, his power strikes are great too. I want to keep testing that. Oh. Oh, I try to get like that small little uh, acceleration right there. Yeah, honestly, I just put a lot of power behind the strike just to see how good he would be with his weak foot. And uh, he still freaking hits a banger, man. Yeah, his left stick dribbling when it's like close control. Like I just want to test out like the backwards forwards with him. It's not bad, like he definitely has a small sway to it, but I mean, for me, dudes, like I would work with it. I definitely would. I mean, like I said, guys, not everybody's gonna move like a Messi, you know, but like, look at that touch. Chase. Oh, he's gonna take out a Carlitos. The other chemistry style that actually makes a lot of sense for him is actually the basic chemistry style because the basic gives him shooting, pace, it boosts his ball control, dribbling, and agility, gives him some passing stats. I, I think the basic actually might make the most sense. Yeah. We'll definitely give that one a shot because it still gives him that pace boost. Like 97, 96 is still really, really good. So let's see what he's like with that. You guys want to know what's funny is I scored two goals with Carlos Tevez and I was recording, but 
I was recording my screen where I was editing the video. <laughs> Well, I thought my player was going to completely fluff that, fluff that for some reason. Uh, and we lose connection. Cool. Um, so, yeah, let me show you guys the first two goals that we ended up scoring. Very nice goals, to be fair. Um, one was, like, really close control oriented, too, with his finish to do the heel to heel. I want to see if I can show you guys. Because I always forget to show the highlights sometimes, like, when I uh, miss edit, right? But basically, this goal was the first one. So, obviously, we're running here with Messi. Carlos Tevez gets into a good position. Nice little ball roll pass immediately. So over here, obviously, when you get close to the goalkeeper, you don't want to shoot right away because you're just not going to score. So we take a small little touch right here. Nice little heel to heel right away to get past the goalkeeper. So I am at a 45, right? 45 degree angle. So heel to heel against the goalie. Then a nice little finish there with Carlitos. And then the second one was this one right here. So we have the ball here in the middle, building it up, building it up. So over here, it actually, uh, like I initially thought he was actually going to be offside, but he wasn't. So let me just show you guys this replay again. So it looked like he was offside when I made this pass. I was like, you know what? We're going to try it anyways. He's making that run. Stays on side, apparently. Doesn't look like he is, but we go for the first time fake shots to, to at least try to get some sort of animation, get the body ahead of the ball, which ends up working a low percentage strike right here, and he still ends up burying it. So some nice stuff there. Okay, so we'll just play some uh, regular FIFA now. So the two things that I'm noticing the most right now is that even though he has the high-low work rates, he's not as crazy attacking AI-wise as someone like Mbappe. So that's like the first obvious thing that I need to point out, uh, although it's still pretty good. Um, and then also the dribbling as well isn't as responsive as I'd like it to be, you know, maybe with the short and balanced body type. Maybe it's not a great body type in this game. I'm not sure because I think the Argentinian dude that, like I said earlier, the gameplay objective that I tried out did the same thing, but... Guys, it's not like it's terrible. I'm just saying that it doesn't dribble like Messi, you know? Like, that's always a comparison, because that, like, that guy's rapid on the ball. Yeah, I had to try this for first-time strike there, because it's already inside the 18-yard box. His power strikes, guys, and his finesse shots are really, really good. Like, really good. You notice it because they have, like, certain animation choices, like, when they uh, actually shoot the ball. And you can tell when there's actual, like, beh like power behind it, too, you know? Ah. Oh. Yeah, I want to try, like, a near post angle right there. Probably going to go... I, pro I probably could have gone for, like, a double finesse and then go for the far post. Because his finesse shots would come off great, so I wouldn't have a problem with that, I don't think. His passes are pretty smooth, too. I do like them. See, even though the defender blocked that one, you could definitely tell that he has good finesse shots too. Ah, oh, man, if the game actually lets me do like one small touch right there, just so that I can go for a finesse shot on a strong foot, that'd be great. Are you on side? Ah, he's not. Not on side, but just look at that power when he shoots the ball, man. It's insane. Look at his shooting, man. His shooting's insane from the power strikes. I'm I'm boosting it like way more than usual just so I can see if he's still accurate with it, and he still hits him like a monster. Look at that. Whew, this guy has crazy power strikes, man. Crazy power strikes. Love the movement there in the middle. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Flashback Tevez. Guys, let's have a conversation about this because the short and balanced body type, I haven't tried out a card where I actually thought that the short and balanced body type was actually a good thing in the game, right? Like, you know how when you have the lean or you have a unique and it's a good unique because obviously some cards have like a unique body type and it sucks, like Salah and stuff, but the short and balance like hasn't really been doing it for me in regards to like responsive dribbling in the game, but that is also because the gameplay is awful, but you guys know the vibes. Uh, but... 
Guys, in regards to Flashback Carlitos, the basic chemistry style definitely makes the most sense for a card like this uh, because you give him a pace boost, you give him a little bit of a shooting boost, passing boost, dribbling boost in key areas of the card, and then you also give him just really good stats all around with the basic chemistry style. It definitely makes the most sense uh, to give instead of the basic because you give him a pace boost to work with the high-low work rates that he has. Um, you know, you already have really good shooting to work with. Guys, his shooting is awesome, right? If you hit finesse shots with him or you hit power strikes with him, his power strikes are incredible. Love them, okay? But his finesse shots also come off really well because his center of gravity is low while being a five foot seven player, right? So I think the short and balanced body type may help with that. But in regards to left stick dribbling, you will notice a sway to the card, right? Um, he does have 99 composure, so it kind of makes up a little bit for it because he even has the 96 aggression and the 99 strength to work with as well but you will notice the left stick dribbling being a little bit off from time to time is it off enough to the points for you to not enjoy the card absolutely not he compensates in so many other areas to make the card really fun obviously doesn't have the five star skills to make him like a meta beast because five star skills is really important in this game but i couldn't care less that his weak foot isn't a five star like the four star weak foot is perfectly fine because this guy strikes a ball like an animal okay his shooting is absolutely phenomenal if you guys get yourself into a situation with this card where you get into the right angles just shoot bro this guy just takes the nastiest strike so in regards to things that were off with the card obviously the left stick dribbling and uh, with the high low work rates his i guess because of that body type that he has and the dribbling that he has his attacking ai is not as explosive as someone like mbappe obviously but it's still pretty good you guys can see a lot of different situations with the high low work rates where he does get himself into very good situations um i would recommend you guys using him as a striker or a cam i wouldn't use him anywhere else because of the stamina mostly right uh, although you can use him in the side positions and I do think he'd play there well He'd play in those positions well too, but it's just that the 85 stamina will drain the stamina a little bit more um, So yeah use him through the middle shoot the ball a lot with this card He's definitely gonna be a lot of fun to use. I think 200k for a Carlitos because obviously he's a, he's a legend I think it's fair for what he offers in game guys. You guys will love his shooting if you try that out So yeah, I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace out my dudes. Love you guys